I just blew one of my students' minds by introducing him to a tool that he had never heard of before. And because he said it completely changed his life, I'm gonna be breaking down seven unknown no-code tools that you should add to your toolbox. And I can pretty much bet you right now that you've probably never heard of half of these. Let's jump in. Welcome back to the Startup Studio. So what are these tools and how are they gonna change your life? Well, they can pretty much be categorized in three different buckets. The first category are called no-code tools and they allow you to build software like websites and apps with drag and drop builders. The second category is automation tools. These allow you to automate mundane tasks, so repetitive tasks, so you just don't have to do them again and again. And again, saving you a lot of time along the way. And the third category is one tool that's gonna help you with sales and marketing. And of course, many of these tools have amazing AI incorporated in them. And speaking of AI, this first tool allows you to build $10,000 websites in seconds with AI and no code. It's called Reloom. And it's actually a platform that started off as just being pre-created elements that would help you build websites in Webflow. And then quite quickly started helping you in Figma as well. And now they've incorporated AI for you to be able to build things incredibly quickly. So let me quickly show you how it works right now. Okay, so we're here on Reloom's website, and as you can see, it looks beautiful. But if you check out this little shuffle button right here, you can see the fun that's about to happen. This is using AI. They basically reorder their own website, and you can just do this by testing it out. However, let me start by building out my own website for my company, We Are No Code, as if I was gonna start it from scratch. I can just come down here where they're asking me to describe my company, and I can just click that. I'm gonna put in we Are No Code teaches entrepreneurs how to launch their startup ideas with no code and AI. I'm gonna go ahead and generate, and then you're gonna now see the magic that this is really gonna do. Just like that, as we're speaking, it's actually generating out the home page, and it's also suggesting additional pages that we could create, right? If I move into here, you're gonna see that each one of these sections has a different prompt inside of it, and in that prompt, it's gonna basically tell it what it wants to have there. You can come here and adapt your prompt. If you don't want, for example, a featured section, you can easily click on that and just delete it. If you want a um, how it works session, yes, I do want one. I want this benefit section to be higher up. Great, I'm gonna put that up there. Then I don't need a blog section because for this, I'm not really gonna be using a blog. So here I could just come and delete it. Then I can come here and be like, okay, what do I want? Well. An about section sounds about right. Let's generate one of those. And just like that, it's going to essentially create different sections for that about. And at this point, you can choose which one of these pages do you want, which one of these pages do you not want. And yes, I do want a courses page. So let's go ahead and generate that. It does all this in seconds and you can see it actually generating it. So it really just happens incredibly quickly. But that's not it, my friends. Check out what we can do with this thing next. The next thing I can do is actually build out the entire wireframe. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it builds up everything in the website that I've just described with AI. And you can see this auto-generating as we speak. It's really pretty incredible. It's doing the copywriting, it's placing images, it's creating all of the layouts, and not just for the homepage, but for every page we just talked about. So if I wanted to change any one of these sections, I can basically come in here and I can regenerate the copy if I wanted to with a different prompt. I could choose to also replace the component so if you click on this, it's gonna ask you, okay, maybe I want something a little bit different. Maybe I want this layout. Maybe I want this layout. Maybe I actually want this one. It's the cl kind of classic layout. Let's go for this one. And if you think this is all I can do, then guess again. If you come here to the top corner, you can basically export this into either Figma, which just grabs this entire website, pushes it inside a design tool, and you can continue to design, or you can export it into Webflow, which is a website builder that is a no-code tool. So what it'll do is grab this wireframe that you have here, put it inside Webflow, it will create all the code behind it, and you can continue to build it with no coding skills, just drag and drop features. And if this doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. Now, I know that a lot of you already know platforms like Webflow or like Framer, but there's actually another really unknown tool that I'd like to present to you now, which is a website builder that can really be comparable to the likes of Webflow. And it's called Ycode. Now, Ycode is a website builder, a CMS, which is content management system, and also allows you to attach to platforms or databases like Airtable to bring in data. And so it's ideal to build out beautiful websites, but also to create blogs and even use CMS items for a number of different things. So if we jump into the website here, we're gonna see that essentially they have all these different features. They have the designer, they have the CMS, which allows you to create pages once and then populate them with data. They have integrations with Airtable that allow you to do all sorts of things, as you can see here, like a searchable list. And it really gives you full control over design, which is kind of cool. 
It's kind of like a web flow or a framer. And if you take a quick glance, it also had things like forms, animations, they have workflows, they have authentication. But now let's jump into the builder because that's I think where it really shines. So I'm in the project here and as you can see, this looks incredibly similar to Webflow, which is really cool because if you already know how to use Webflow, you can easily jump into Y code and figure it out. On the left hand here, we basically have all of the different elements, the pages, the CMS, you have the um, different workflows that you can work in, all the assets that you have, you also have connections, et cetera, et cetera. And on the right hand side here, you have the designer, right? You can click on any elements and here there's all the design settings for that. So you can change layouts, you can change the typography, you could change the colors, you could change elements, you can, you know, and you can very easily drag and drop elements into it. So I won't go too deep in this, but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to Webflow that also has the beauty and power of it, then I would check out Y code because I think they're really progressing quite nicely. Okay, but what if you want to build something a little bit deeper than a website? Let's say a web app, for example. Well, you probably know tools already like Bubble or like Softer, but I want to introduce you to another very powerful tool that's been pretty much flying under the radar. Its name is NoLoco. And by the way, all of the tools are listed below in the description, so you can go ahead and check them out. NoLoco is a web app builder that's focused on business use cases specifically. And if you check out their website, you're going to see that they boast on their homepage about being able to create these apps in minutes. So this is a platform that you would use to build things like internal tools, a client portal, for example. So this tool really comes off as a front-end builder where you could build the user experience of your app and then you'd connect it to a database, maybe like Airtable. However, it also has its own database and the ability to create automations on the back end. So you could create things like client portals, as you can see here. You could have a flexible CRM, for example, specifically built for and around your process. And they have plenty of other templates that you can also work with. One of the features I find really cool is that if you already have like a table inside of Airtable, for example, it's going to instantly with AI build out a first version of that app based on the different tables you have, and it's gonna try to figure out what app to build for you automatically. And so it's exciting to see this tool incorporate AI to be able to speed up the process for you. Now, the one little thing I'd like to mention about this platform is that it's really mainly focused on building business apps because they charge per seat. So it wouldn't really work in the same way as softer if you were trying to build an app that was gonna be for a thousand different users. And so keep that in mind when you're building your next app. And by the way, if you're looking to get customers, stick around to the end, because we're gonna be talking about a tool that's incredible at doing just that. Okay, so we've talked about connecting this tool with Airtable, but what if you don't want to use Airtable or potentially you want another alternative to Airtable? Well, then you're going to want to learn a little bit more about this next tool. It's not that well known, but a lot more people are using it these days to replace Airtable and it is called Smart Suite. Now, although Smart Suite positions itself a lot more like Airtable, it also has a lot of similarities to things like Monday.com or other project management tools. It's about one platform that essentially manages all the work of your company internally. And if we jump into this tool, you're gonna to see that it looks very similar to Airtable. So we're quickly gonna talk about some of the differences and I'm gonna show you firsthand what you can do with this tool. One of the things that's cool about SmartSuite is that they have some really well thought out templates and I'm gonna be opening one up here so that we can check out the editor itself and then we're gonna talk about some of the differences. So when I click on add a new solution, what you're gonna see is start with a template or create from scratch. In this case, I'm going to be starting with a template. And here, as you can see, these templates really look like project management tools you might've heard of. So this is actually a pretty interesting uh, approach that they're using is to say, hey, we're kind of out of the box. We're kind of also like do it yourself and like build a customized version of it. And if you start with a template, you can also adapt that template based on your needs. Now here they have some of the most used templates, but on the left-hand side, you're gonna see that they have a huge number of additional templates that you can basically just grab and use. So let me go ahead and open up a product management one. We're gonna use this template over here. This is a project dashboard, so you can really just see on a high level how that project is doing. And so you can really build very cool things with this platform. Of course, they're less mature than a platform like Airtable, but they also have some pretty nice design, I think. And for many use cases, this could be a great platform to build on top of. And then you can also connect this kind of a database to another tool that could build out the front end or the visual interface if you're trying to create like a, an app that is for end users. Okay, so up until now, we've talked about tools that don't require code at all. But what if you're a coder and you wanna start building things quicker, some powerful apps, leveraging some code, but also wanna benefit from the speed of drag and drop building like you have in no code. Well, in that case, you're probably gonna be excited about this next tool I'm gonna talk about. But before that, I noticed in my analytics that most people who are watching this video, you, are not subscribed to the channel. And true story, this actually came up when I was talking to my mother-in-law and she gave me the best YouTube advice ever. Just 
ask them to subscribe. So to make her happy, make sure to click on that subscribe button. Now, back to the next unknown tool, it's called Retool, and allows you to build business apps in seconds with code, but also leveraging drag and drop functionalities which makes it incredibly quick and easy for people to go and build apps. So as we can see from their website, the fastest way to develop effective software. They're mainly focused around enterprise and business use cases, but as you can see here, they allow you to build mobile apps, they allow you to build external apps, databases, all sorts of things with one tool alone. And they actually allow you to go through every step of the development cycle with their tool. So you would start out by building with drag and drop tools. Then you could go ahead and add code and adapt code based on your specific needs. They also allow you to quite easily debug and you can then review and deploy your software as well. And you have enterprise companies like DoorDash who have used it and have saved a lot of money same thing with Ramp, and you can see a lot more examples on their website. Quite a few people know about Retool, but if you didn't, then go and check them out. And the cool thing is they also have a discount for startups. So if you want to save, I think it's $25,000 in credits on this platform, then you can go and check them out and you can apply for the credit as a startup. Okay, but what if you wanna build super powerful apps, but you don't want to get into the code? Well, this next tool is gonna to allow you to tap into APIs and create all sorts of complicated workflows inside a no code builder. And the name of this tool is BuildShip. So what can BuildShip help you do and why should you care at all? Well, it actually allows you to easily create API calls and connections, which could allow you to bring more complex functionalities inside of your app. So if you were trying to do something like visual recognition, someone uploads an image and you need visual recognition, you could use Google Visions API by tapping into it. If you want to bring AI into your app, you could use ChatGPT and through an API call, you could use that powerful technology inside of your app as well. So BuildChip, if you come to their website, they basically just boast about being able to very easily create powerful APIs, be able to create backend tasks and schedule jobs as well. And so this platform can complement your build if you're inside of Flutterflow or other platforms like Bubble as well. And let's check out what that interface really looks like. Now you can create these completely from scratch as you can see here and basically are these different workflows. You can also choose to use their AI generator which will allow you to do things a lot quicker. They also have these templates that you can use. So if you're, for example, I mentioned Google Vision, uh, Stripe checkout completed, um, you know, HTML to PDF. These are all examples of what you might be able to do. And it also allows you to mess around with the code. So if you're more technical and you wanna get even deeper. Now again, a little caveat here, this is not for complete beginner no coders. So if you are a complete beginner, I would not start off with a tool like this, which is already understanding what an API is, how it works, what we're trying to get as information from it, and how to integrate it inside of your project. But if you're a coder and you wanna simplify things, you could use this platform as well, which is kinda of cool. And by the way, if you have a startup idea, but you have no idea how to get started, you can download our free course below. We also have a full course bundle that'll teach you how to come up with ideas, how to test them in the market, It'll give you all the fundamentals about no code and will even teach you how to build out your first app with no code tools. And you can check out both the free and the paid course inside of the description box or inside the comment section of this video. So what if I told you you could do incredibly personalized outbound campaigns without having to spend a bunch of time and without having to have a bunch of employees? Well, it's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in this next tool that is called Clay. And to simplify things here, Clay really does three different things and you can see this right on their website. First of all, they allow you to build out lead lists and they allow you to actually connect to 10 lead sources automatically. Then what it does is it allows you to get more information or enrich the information that you have from those leads that you've created and they have more than 150 enrichment databases to be able to work from, to be able to get information about those same leads. And then it gets all of that information and you can create incredibly personalized email campaigns leveraging the information that you know about those people to create scalable outbound campaigns. And no, this is not sponsored by Clay or any of these other tools for that matter. I just get super stoked about these kind of tools because they can do a lot. So for the first step, as you can see from their website, you can build lead lists from 10 built-in sources. So you could get leads from LinkedIn, you could get them from Google Maps if you're looking for more local businesses. Then you would go and enrich your leads. So you could either do this with leads you already have. So for example, if you have a whole lead list from a platform like Apollo, you'd be able 
able to download that CSV, upload it to this, and it'd be able to get more information about these individuals. You could get their additional contact information like an email or a phone number. You could enrich it with traffic from their website. You could even refer to one of the current posts that they've done on LinkedIn. And that's where this lead enrichment really becomes powerful because then we can create these personalized emails that really target specific things. So you could, for example, reference a post that someone just released and that would probably get their attention if we talked about that right out of the gate. And for that AI email builder, as you can see here, they give you an example, ask AI to write an email. So here we would tap into ChatGPT to write this email for us. And the instructions would be something like, based on the LinkedIn post, uh, write an email to the job position uh, who have this keyword in their profile and are currently working at that company. And this allows you to do this at scale. So basically you'd be able to enrich incredibly quickly, write out those emails in bulk to all people. And I was actually pretty impressed by the results of some of the emails that it had created. And here, if we check out the template section, you're gonna be able to get some really good ideas on ways that you could get more customers for your business. Now, unfortunately, none of these tools are gonna be valuable for you if you just have an idea. So if you wanna learn how to go from idea to actually testing your idea in the market, then check out this video over here because I'm gonna be talking about how you can do that in just 24 hours with no code. So check it out right here, my friends. Let's go.